Hello and welcome to a stadium that has a wonderfully old-fashioned feel to it, Goodison Park. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Everton up against Arsenal. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here's the team for Everton. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Idrissa Gay plays alongside Abdoulaye Ducouré in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale is the goalkeeper. Kai Havertz starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the main striker here is Edward Nketiah. Potentially one to savour. Arsenal get this game underway. Dan Yuma. Beto. Ducouré. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Bukayo Saka. Martin Odegaard. Good physical play. And players waiting in the centre. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with. They've lost possession here, Arsenal. Zinchenko. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. And possession given away. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, the game plan of the coach is to get the ball into the front players as quickly as possible. He is the player to do it. He's brilliant with his back to goal. We'll link up the play, and he's key to the way they play the game. Take it away. Gabriel Martinelli. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. And deciding to go short with this one. Well, space if he goes inside. Well, a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Out now, Dan Yuma. Ducouré. Just made sure nothing came of that. Ashley Young. Can he finish? Gets in the way once more. Counter attacking, very much an option.
Martinelli. Well, you've got to say, comfortably off target, Stuart. Yeah, that's a waste of good possession. His teammates are not happy with him, and they're letting him know. Amadou Onana. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? And a chance, Odegaard! The save was a good one. Short corner taken. Nketia. And the keeper more than equal to it. <laughs> and a short corner, let's see. Nketia. Firing it in, and blocked for now. It will be Arsenal's corner as they try to nudge in front in this game. And taken short. Nketiah. Rice. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Brilliant, crisp and clean tackle. Can they survive? And a useful cross. Well, it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. Well, as we've seen, Arsenal have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes and they're playing really well and creating chances. It's surely only a matter of time before they take the lead here. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? Yes, the problem seems to be in that last challenge, he took a massive blow to his upper thigh. He's struggling at the moment. Oh, they but... might score! Really good piece of goalkeeping there. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Well, I have to say, that was an outstanding piece of goalkeeping. And most importantly, it stopped Arsenal from taking the lead here. Well, unlucky perhaps to be denied, but they've now got to think about defending. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. Ducouré, great opportunity. And there is the opening goal. Well, arguably against the run of play, they've been second best up to this point, but they have the lead. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. On they go again, and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. And so there we have it. The first half has come to an end here at Goodison. Well, a slightly underwhelming performance from Bukayo Saka, if we're being 100% honest. Well, Derek, he has to impose himself on this game. He's been far too quiet so far. If they are to get back into this, he needs to make something happen and start getting some shots away.
Well, advantage Everton after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. Chance to cross. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Martin Odegaard. Rice with it. Saka. Havertz. It's with Odegaard. Takes the shot. Ball is loose. Well, they can bring it out now. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. And he read it well. Patterson. Idrissa Gay. Martinelli. Nkessia. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And continues his run. But they dealt with the threat posed. Saka. Crossing opportunity. Throw in here for Arsenal. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Dwight McNeil, substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch, number 14, Eddie Nketiah. Coming onto the pitch, number 9, Gabriel Jesus. Saka. Gabriel Jesus, cross blocked. Well, strong play here. Couldn't hang on to it. Gabriel Jesus! And it's gone in! Beyond the goalkeeper, Arsenal level. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So back underway, one goal apiece here. Idrissa Gay, an unforced error, you've got to say. Declan Rice, now Zinchenko, Bukayo Saka. And with that, the attack fizzles out. 20 minutes remaining. Well, they've decided to make a change. Alexander Zinchenko to be replaced by number 20, Jorginho. Ducouré. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Martin Odegaard. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? And a chance to level it. Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save.
And time for the change now. And taken short. Gabriel. Very quick thinking there. McNeil. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So back underway at 3-1. Saka. It's with Erdogan. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. McNeil. He must finish. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Time for a change then. Let's see about the delivery. Well, that was quality. Last ditch defending. And the keeper able to hold on to it. Declan Rice. And Havertz. It is now with Jorginho. A wonderful intervention. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Kai Havertz. And return to Havertz. Chance to cross. Can he get one back? And it's there for him. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So the referee blows for full time and it's an Everton success story whatever way you look at it three points for the Toffees what did you think of their performance? Well Derek it was a tight game both sides had their moments and chances but overall they just about shaded it a well earned victory Well he put in a really thorough performance here Stuart Well he looked a top class player today every time he touched the ball he was a threat and he worked so hard for the team as well what a good display that was